Hi everyone, it's Ileana and I have a cute little card to share with you today. The background was inspired by a post that Christina Warner did, so I'll be sure to link to her video and her blog post in the description below. First, I'm going to start with the Lawn Fawn Leaf Tree Backdrops die in the portrait, and I've cut it out of some craft card stock. And I'm going to stamp it with the wood, the Lawn Fawn wood grain backdrops. And I want to create a more realistic tree that's in the die. So I'm trying to line up the stamp with the knots on the tree. And once I get that set, I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that with some VersaFine sepia, uh, vintage sepia. And I did use my powder tool to get some of that and of that static off my cardstock and I don't want any powder where it's not supposed to go or you'll be able to see um, the straight embossing powder even though it's just a small uh, amount. So I'm trying to see where my pattern is on my grid paper and I'm just lining up um, so that I can continue the pattern. So I'm lining up the um, cardstock with the design that's stamped on the grid paper so that I can continue it and make it look like it's one big stamp. It's pretty easy to do since the wood grain um, isn't straight so it just makes it look more natural. Now that I'm completely done I'm going to clean it with my absorber and now I'm just going to add some clear embossing powder. I'm just going to heat it up with my heat tool just to melt that embossing powder. I did wait for it to heat up just a little bit. Um, it's really not that important because you're going to end up cutting apart the frame. I'm going to remove the frame uh, just because I tried the card with the frame and it just, um, I didn't really like the way it looked with the design of the card. I thought it was too cluttered so I, I ended up cutting out the tree. What I'm doing now is I'm adding some Distress Ink with a finger dauber. I'm using Walnut Stain and Gathered Twigs. Uh, I did the, the entire tree with Gathered Twigs and then I added a little bit more, um, a, a more darker color just to give it a little bit of dimension. And I'm just testing out the dauber to make sure that I got a lot of that color off. I'm just going around the edges and then after I cut the tree out, I'll add a little bit more to, to the exposed um, craft cardstock just so that you don't really notice it once it's on the front of the card. And I'm using a finger dauber instead of the blending tool because it's a little bit smaller area that you're um, doing. And I'm just trimming out the tree and then adding a little bit more of the uh, Distress Ink just to cover it up. And I'm going to continue the branches so that you could see um, how it goes off the edges of the card. And now I'm adding a little bit more of the dark Distress Ink to the edges so, so that you don't see the exposed craft card stock. You do need to be careful because these they're tiny little slivers of cardstock and you don't want to bend them. Now I've taken a scrap piece of green cardstock. This was in my bin of um, scrap paper and I just picked out a pretty green and it is textured and I uh, cut it out with my stitch rectangles because I want the rectangles to go around the entire card base. And now I'm going to stamp with my um, Stampers Anonymous Crazy Dogs. And I thought that this little dog looked like he was saying the word boo. And uh, so I wanted to use this stamp set again. So I'm just going to stamp it with some Memento uh, Tuxedo Black ink onto some Nina White cardstock. And I'm using this ink because it's Copic friendly. And I'm just going to just start coloring it in. Um, I just like to color things in. I'm not really particular about shading or anything like that. So I'm just going to quickly color it in. 
Now, while you're watching me color it in, I'll just uh, let you know that the background, I'm not going to show how to make the background just because it did take a long time to make that uh, night sky. And um, I did ask Christina permission if I could um, use that as inspiration. And she said that would be fine. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll just add the link in the product description or in the description below. And then you can click over to her blog and you could see um, how she did that. And then you can just do the same technique onto a bigger piece of cardstock. And since it did take me a long time, I didn't want to make this video any longer than it needed to be. And what I ended up doing after I was done with the background was I just took um, two different stars from other Lawn Fawn stamp sets. Um, it was the Winter Unicorn and the Yay Kites. They each had different sized stars that I thought would work nicely. And I just um, stamped those with Versa Mark ink and then added some white embossing powder. So you'll see that later on when I go to put the card together, you'll see the background and um, I'll pause it just a little bit so that you can take a closer look before we put any of the other elements onto the card. Now I'm coloring this dog in brown, but um, I kind of think he is some kind of a terrier. Um, so I know that those are gray and black, but um, grays are really hard for me to color. And so I just thought I'd play it safe with a easy combination of brown. And it's just a card. It, it doesn't have to be true to life that a dog is the wrong color. Um, it's just for fun anyways. Now, I wasn't sure what color to do for the collar, and so I went ahead and just overstamped it with some um, VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And um, while I'm doing all of that, I'm thinking about what color I want the collar to be, just because I don't want it to clash with the rest of the card, uh, and I don't really want to introduce a new color. And so while I'm doing these things, I'm thinking about what color I want it to be. And what I decided was to, at first I'm going to color the, the little thing that hangs from the collar. What's that called? Um, the name tag. I'm going to color it with gold. And then I decide that I don't want the gold. I'll just do silver because, um, I think it would go better. And I decided that the collar needed to be at least a shade um, that's on the card. And so I picked the blue violet color. Then I fussy cut it all out and I just took a black marker and I just went around the edges. Any black marker will do. It'll disguise any imperfections in your fussy cutting. The moon, I'm going to be using, um, this kitchen sink stamp set called multi-step owl in autumn moon. I'd already tried stamping the moon. Um, that's why my stamps are already on the misty and I don't like the color combination that I tried. And so I'm just starting over. I'm using silver Fox for the step one and I tucked it into the upper corner. Now I'm going to move my cardstock down to the bottom corner and I'm going to add morning frost by Alta new. And it's just a little bit darker and once that's done, I'm going to position the third step. And I'm using the product packaging to see um, how it should go and I'm just matching it up. And once I get it set in place, and it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna punch it out with a circle punch. So I'm turning it upside down. And now I'm going to stamp with the darkest shade, which is all to new evening gray. And I think that's a pretty realistic moon there. And because the Avery L ink dries so fast, I'm going to go back with some VersaFine, um, I'm sorry, with some VersaMark ink, and I'm going to restamp the whole thing so that I could coat it with embossing powder. Once the embossing powder is heat set, I'm going to take a circle punch, and it measures one and three quarters, and I'm just going to punch it out. And for my sentiment, I actually um, used the Claire's ABCs to 
uh, spell out the word boo and I needed a speech bubble. And this was the only stamp set in my entire collection that had a speech bubble. And it's from an old basic gray stamp set that I can't bear to part with. I'm just embossing it with some um, clear embossing powder. I did stamp it in VersaFine black onyx ink or onyx black ink. And then I just cut around it. And now I'm going to assemble my card. Um, I'm just going to add some ATG adhesive to the back of my card front and then add it to a card base. Um, I'm going to use some multi matte medium to adhere all of, most of my elements onto the front of my card. Just going to tuck it into the corner and I wasn't too careful. Um, I just kind of did it really quick and so you'll see that little strip of white up at the top and I end up taking it apart later. So I'm putting all my elements on here and I think the moon is a little too bright and I had a moon already made um, with some yellows and this is uh, Hero Arts Butter Bar, uh, Paper Tray Ink, Harvest Gold and Summer Sunrise. And I thought the little puppy needed a little um, trick or treat pail and so I had uh, already cut it out. I just didn't have the camera running when I um, did it. So I'm adding some multi matte medium to all of my elements and you want to be careful when you do that because the multi matte medium will actually mess up your distress ink background. So you want to make sure that um, you get it exactly where you want. And for some reason I could not find my spray adhesive. So um, I was, this is just where it ended up. Now the grass uh, was a little too one dimensional. So I went and added some distress ink and forest moss. And um, I just realized that you can use the mouse pad as a craft mat and because you can wipe it off and it's stiff. So it makes it a lot easier to deal with the mouse pad than it is to pull out my craft sheet. So I'm adding the grass down to the bottom. And now I'm going to uh, take my card apart and you'll see in just a second that little white strip is totally gone. And my little dog, I'm going to add him in with some foam tape. And the speech bubble has some foam adhesive as well. And I did cut out the little pumpkin and I didn't want to mess with cutting um, around the handle. And so I just cut part of the handle off and then cut inside the middle. And I'm just gonna glue it all together to the front of the card. I did add a few dots with a gel pen just to add a little bit more detail and some weak acela to the stars. Thanks so much for joining me and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Have a great day.